and welcome to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for another video today and welcome to the preview of Barcelona against Levante. Round 18 of La Liga is about to get underway. Our first league game of the new year is about to commence. Levante at the count now on Sunday afternoon. And as always guys the preview is coming to you courtesy of the One Football app which can be found in the description down below if you do wish to download it. 90% of you on the One Football app believe that Barcelona will beat Levante on Sunday afternoon at the count now and I would also highly recommend the one foot lap simply because the transfer window is going on and they're very very good with news when it comes to transfers at Barcelona so if you do want to download it it is certainly there for you guys in the description and I've also done my own poll with regard to this game and what the potential result would be you guys getting involved in my community section and I must say as always guys very well done you're very very confident 2.1 thousand of you got involved in the voting and 65% of you believe that we will win by three plus goals against Levante 65% so a lot of you very very confident there 29% of you believe that we'll win by two goals 3% by just the one goal 2% for the draw and just 1% of you believe that we will lose against Levante which we have not done since 1964 Levante have only ever beaten us once in La Liga history so very very much likely that we will go into this game as the big favorites of course the game itself kicks off at quarter past four local time at the camp now and also on that weekend Atletico Madrid who are currently in second place take on Hitafe at the Wanda Metropolitano. Also on that Saturday, Valencia currently in third place. They take on Girona at the Mestalla. And later on, after our game on the Sunday, on the last game on that Sunday evening, Celta Vigo host Real Madrid. So that could be a really, really interesting game. We could pile the pressure on Real Madrid, who are already, of course, very, very far behind us in the league table. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering why exactly I'm doing the match preview right now. Usually I do leave it until the day before the game, and I do like to do it. I know you guys enjoy that kind of timing of it. But today I've had to bring in the match preview just a day early, simply because tomorrow I will of course be travelling to Barcelona. I am going to watch this game live. I'm also going to watch the game, the second leg against Celta Vigo at the Camp Nou. And obviously I'm going there to watch the games, to enjoy the fantastic experience, but also to make the Q&A video for you guys answering your questions as part of my 50,000 subscribers landmark. So I'm going to enjoy making that for you. That should be up on the 15th of January for you guys. Thank you as always for your incredible support. But on with the preview then. Barca of course coming into this game very very good form. Top of the league still unbeaten in all competitions so far this season. The only team in Europe's top five leagues to still be unbeaten. Nine points clear of Atletico Madrid in second. Eleven points clear of Valencia in third. And a whopping 14 points clear of Real Madrid who currently occupy fourth place in La Liga. As for Levante though they are currently in 16th place languishing just above the relegation zone. This of course is their first season back in La Liga after they were relegated in 2016. However, this season, they have been very, very good on the big occasion. They've definitely claimed some very big scalps. Yesterday, for instance, away from home against Espanyol in the Copa del Rey, they won 2-1 at the Cornea El Prat. And also Villarreal on the opening weekend of the season, they beat them 1-0 at home. They smashed Real Sociedad at home as well by three goals to nil. And also, of course, they took points off Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. So they do step up on the big occasion. We will have to be wary of that. But like I say, in the league against Levante, we do have an absolute absolutely fantastic record against them. In the last 10 years, we've met them 15 times in all competitions, and we have won 13 times out of those 15. Two draws. Like I say, they've only ever beaten us once in La Liga history, and that was right back in 1964. In that time, in the last 10 years, we beat them 5-0 on three occasions. We beat them 5-1 on two occasions. And also in that time, we beat them 7-0 at the Camp Nou in Tata Martino's first game in charge of Barcelona. So we really do have a good record against Levante, particularly Lionel Messi as well. In his last 12 league games against Levante, he's been involved in 25 goals. 15 of them he's scored, 10 he's assisted in his last 12 games. So Messi, really good record against Levante. Suarez likes a goal against Levante as well. And we are really going into this game with good confidence. Obviously, we drew against Celta Vigo, but ending the year really, really strong. We've got our key players slowly getting back to fitness now. Dembele, of course, made his long awaited return in yesterday's game. And there's a really good feeling right now surrounding Barcelona. At the moment, of course, we're active in the transfer window trying to pursue Coutinho trying to pursue Yerry Mina we're trying to get players in as well to bolster the squad and give Valverde even more options and I have to say as well it's looking good right now obviously no official team news right now the squad will come out tomorrow when I would usually do the preview video but there are a few things that I can tell you there was an open training session this morning that was held at the Mini Estadio 12,000 spectators turned up in all to watch Barca train in front of their own fans it was a really good occasion there there's a lot of players out on the pitch there was signing of autographs things like that as well Arda Turan did not 
train this morning. He reportedly has fever. Whether or not you believe that or not, that's up to you. Rafinha also didn't train this morning. He was doing some work in the gym on his own. Jose Arnaith, though, was in first-team training once again this morning. Obviously, he got the only goal against Celta Vigo yesterday on our part, and he is looking absolutely fantastic whenever he gets a chance with the first team. And massive, massive news. He has not been included in Barcelona B squad, which will face Real Zaragoza this weekend in the Segunda. No Arnaith in that squad, which does leave the big question, is this the weekend that he will make his Barcelona La Liga debut? I am very, very excited. If that is the case, it will be absolutely fantastic because he certainly earned it. Every time he's come into the team, he's left his mark on it. And I think right now Valverde is looking at it thinking, who else have I got? Delafeo is being left out recently. Alex Fidel did not impress yesterday. Arnaith deserves his chance. And I would be so, so happy for him if he does get it against Levante. Also, in that open training session, obviously everybody could watch it. And it was very clear what the sort of message was from Ernesto Valverde. We were playing once again a 4-3-3 formation. Now, a lot of people were saying to me, are we going to go back to 4-3-3? Are we going to stay with 4-4-2? Now Dembele is back. Now we've got some good wide options. Our ninth impressing as well. We're definitely going to go back to 4-3-3 in my opinion. Valverde obviously did what he had to do to get the results without Dembele. But now he's back. Dembele, Suarez and Messi is going to be our front three. That's the way we're going to operate. And that was certainly the case in this morning's open training session. And there is one other thing that I do want to mention about Barcelona's day after that training session in front of their own fans. They did then visit a children's hospital in Barcelona. There was a lot of children there obviously suffering with different illnesses. It was very sad to see them. But when Barcelona players walked in there, they made their annual hospital visit to see the smiles on the kids' faces who are clearly suffering. But this could make their year. It really, really could. And to see Barcelona players taking the time out of their day to do that, to give something back to obviously kids who absolutely idolise them, it was a really, really nice moment to see that. You know, something that was really heartwarming, fantastic from the Barcelona players, brilliant for those children. They deserve that happiness. And I was really, really happy to see that hospital visit happen. A lot of football clubs do it. Most football clubs get involved with the community. And I think that's really, really important. Obviously, footballers kind of elevate themselves sometimes because of the money they earn, you know, the kind of star quality they have. But at the end of the day, they're human beings and they took the time out today to spend some time with the children. I think that's absolutely fantastic when all said and done. But back onto the football side of things, the lineup that I would actually predict for tomorrow's game is an interesting one. Whether you guys will agree with me on this one, please do let me know your predicted lineups down in the comments below. But this is the lineup that I would personally go with. Looking at Semedo's performance yesterday against Celta Vigo, I thought it was absolutely fantastic on that right hand side. I would go with Ter Stegen, Jordi Alba very likely to return at left back. Digne played yesterday, played okay, but Alba of course having a brilliant season on a personal level. Vermaelen and Gerard Piquet at the back, both of those two playing pretty well at the moment. Piquet wasn't brilliant against Celta Vigo, maybe Mascherano could come in, but Vermaelen right now is playing absolutely out of his skin. Really good performance again yesterday, and he has been so, so good in the past few weeks. Semedo at right back, and in the midfield area, obviously Sergio Busquets will miss this game through suspension. He picked up a yellow against Real Madrid, which means he's now suspended for the Levante game, but I would actually include Andre Gomez at the base of that midfield, and what you could do if you started Gomez and Roberto both in that midfield position, they could into change because Roberto is very much capable of playing that role too. He's very good defensively. He knows where to be. He's very aware of where he's supposed to be on the field thanks to his days at right back. But I just think Gomez could start this game simply because he was brilliant against Celta Vigo. And I think if you sort of put in that sort of performance, if you're that good, if you impress, he's the kind of player you need to keep playing because he thrives on confidence. You saw that yesterday. Once he does have a bit of confidence, he can turn into a completely different player. If he's sort of in and out of the team, sometimes he's picked, sometimes it's not. It's very very difficult to get up to speed, to get up to some rhythm. So I would actually start Gomez tomorrow as a reward for his performance against Celta. I think he deserves that. Iniesta alongside him. I would love to see Roberto in midfield ahead of Semedo. Whether it'll happen or not, that remains to be seen. But I would just certainly like to see that happen. And then obviously, as always, if we're up in the game, you can always take off Iniesta. If we're two, three goals ahead, you can rest him and you can sort of preserve him. We've got some very, very big games ahead. You know, you look at the Celta Vigo game, that second leg, and also following that game, Real Sociedad away at the Anoeta. So, as always, goes with all the players. If we're sort of two or three goals up, Valverde can make changes, bring players on, rest the key players to keep everybody fresh. And the front three, Messi, Suarez, and like I say, I would absolutely love it if Jose Arnaith got his first team debut in the league tomorrow against Levante. From the start, I think Arnaith should start. Not Vidal, not Delafeu, not somebody else. I think it's still too early to start Dembele. I think we rushed into it when he joined the club. We played him, you know, against the Hitafe. We played him against against Juventus and we maybe threw him in a bit of the deep end very too soon so we want to avoid doing that he played a few minutes against Celta he still looked a bit rusty he still needs a few sub 
club appearances, I think. Maybe start him against Celta if he comes on and impresses against Levante. But I just think it's a bit too soon right now to throw him in as a starter. I would start our knife. He's in good condition. He's on good form. Certainly in good confidence alongside Messi and, of course, Luis Suarez. So certainly a very good lineup going into Sunday's match. I do expect Valverde to have a strong team. He doesn't like to rotate too much. I think a lot of the guys as well coming back into the team after the New Year break, they'll need to get some game time and get some freshness once again on the pitch. I am going to go with Barcelona 4, Levante 0. I'm going to go with the big score prediction. Messi's going to be on form. Luis Suarez is going to score a few goals. Perhaps, maybe our knife could get his first goal as well. And who knows, maybe Dembele will come on and get his first La Liga goal. A lot could happen in this game. I'm really excited to go and see it. Leave your comments and your predictions down in the comments below, guys. I will see you all very soon with more videos. But until then, as always, Vesca El Barça. Barça, Barça.